I'm Linda Blinn. I have a theory that anytime I find something that makes me look like a better artist than I am, I need to share it with you. And this is one such process that is done with a pair. You can see here that I've um, used this in my collage work. I've used it with ephemera on an old French dictionary page, on tissue, and it can also be printed on watercolor paper. The materials, a couple of pairs, a little bit of acrylic paint, and any kind of surface that you see. This is how easy it is. We're lucky pairs come in just about every color. So on this first one, I'm going to do one of those deep russet pairs. I'm working with just inexpensive acrylic paints. And let's go ahead and put three colors on this one. Now, please notice that when I print this, I am just using this like a stamp. These are fresh pears. What I did was put a, a um, paper towel to kind of get some of the moisture off. And how could it be any easier than this? Now, if if that needs to be blended a little bit more, I can come back into it with a brush. And then what I do is come back with the stem, kind of print that by itself with the paint application on the stem. And remember that we can always come back into this as we proceed. Let's see if we can get two prints out of this one pair that we've applied the paint to. Okay, it's gonna come out a little lighter there, but that's okay, I'm going to come back into that after I do, I do a green pair here, applying the paint liberally so we get that texture and then I'm going to come around the edges with the brown, just blending that in a little bit to define the edges. This is a Bosch pair. Any, any pair works. All right, let's bring this over. Apply pressure. Got our little stem there. Sometimes just giving it a little bit of motion there. Okay, I'm going to now come back in just with a, a, a paintbrush, put that stem on. And you can see we have three of them here. I think I'm going to take this pair that I did the brown on and come back in and reprint this one. You can keep layering no matter what color you use, it still reads as a pair. Come back, you can outline it a little bit. And what I like to do is pull in from the edge there, so that pulling from the edge, get that texture that you want. Come back in, texture, texture, texture. And I'm going to give this one more stamp and just shift this a little bit and all those colors start coming together. This is done on the um, watercolor paper. When you use a tissue or a tracing paper with the pairs, as I've done here, you can cut these out and use them as a collage element. And because they're done on this type of paper, they're going, it's going to disappear into your collage. So it's actually um, looks like that you have 
actually painted it right there. So this is an example of some different pear shapes that have been applied to the collage. I like the white areas. If you're doing a, uh, any kind of a painting, you want your whites against the darks. And if you wanted to make this more realistic, you could actually come in with a shadow to give it some place that it's sitting here. And you could actually go in and, and bring your darkers dark and your, uh, against these white areas to make it pop a little bit. If you want to try other vegetables, this is an onion that's done in the same way just um, slicing through an onion and loading it up with, I've used three colors of paint here, and the bell pepper. It actually prints the seeds that are inside. Just a few ideas of what you can do from the supermarket with a little bit of inexpensive paint and try it on many, many backgrounds. Even the pear itself is beautiful. So, makes you look like a better artist than you really are.